after a year of virtual programming, we're back again with a hybrid summit. We need to work for freedom and democracy. I do think the autocrats now are living on borrowed time. If our constitution and our laws don't apply in the digital space, just as they do offline, if propaganda and disinformation can be streamed with no consequences for those spreading it. Taiwan's democracy was built on the sacrifices of all who fought against authoritarian rules. We walk a long road to realize the freedoms we enjoy today, and we are determined never to surrender these freedoms. We have to increase our defense against coordinated attacks. We need to stand firmer, respond faster and stronger. When universal values like human rights and freedom of speech are under pressure, that is who we are. That is who we must be, defenders of democracy, rights and values. I would highlight all the democratic activists we have seen go to the streets to demand freedom. By having this opportunity, I would like to appeal to the democratic countries to stop being complacent, to act. And by doing so, we need, we need a change of perception. We need attention and we need support of uh, other democratic countries for whom uh, uh, freedom uh, laws and uh, democracy are not just empty words. The people of my country, Myanmar, have fought for democracy for decades. This is where I stand. This is why I'm paying this price. And if it costs my life by the end of the day, then let it be. China is a big and important economic player. Of course it is. But democracies are a much bigger and much more important economic uh, element in the global economy than anything else. If the Chinese Communist Party succeeds, our world will be less free, less prosperous, and less safe. Lies laced with anger and hate spread faster and further than boring facts. Unfortunately, the events of January 6th, you know, show that online, off, online harm can become real-world offline harm. What we fight everyone knows it well, is radical Islamism, in other words, a political ideology with totalitarian character, which declared war on democracy. In a democracy, it is natural to compromise on any number of issues, but there are issues that you cannot compromise on, such as life and liberty, and equality, the most basic things that are enshrined in the constitutions of uh, most European countries and in the United States of America. We all stand on the front line of freedom because the battle between freedom and autocracy is incumbent on us all. It's time to inoculate ourselves to defeat autocracy and coercion. We all have a duty to stand for freedom and democracy.